once we've got over those teething issues of kind of getting the right mix, I think we will be able to get a, a decent shot out of it. Hopefully we won't overclock it and it'll just explode into pieces because that could be quite dangerous. But I think we'll, we'll be all right. This is uh, version 3.0. Um, it all started with uh, a baked bean tin and a very short section of pipe and we used it with some hairspray to fire tennis balls across a field. Over the last couple of years we've kind of modified it and it's got bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, so this year we've now got uh, kind of a new modified chamber with an access hatch so that you can load the tennis balls or kind of things like the nerf shots. You can put them straight in. Inside we've got a fan which helps mix all the air with the, the propellant, which is our, our hairspray. And then you can put that kind of cover on, put the hatch down and then you ignite it with a nice little clicky clicky thing there. What happens is it kind of ignites the fuel in there. As the fuel kind of burns, it heats up the air, causes it to expand, which forces the tennis ball up through the tube and out into the yonder distance. Because we timed it and it took um, what, 14, 14 seconds, seconds uh, from launch to landing, and that means it was seven seconds at the peak when it was at its highest, and then we can use a, a UVAST equation, um, which is uh, S equals VT minus a half AT squared, um, where V is zero because it's at the peak, um, which means it's got no velocity, and uh, A is 9.8, and T was seven seconds. Um, so we can use that to work out that the height of the ball was 240 meters from ground level, <laughs> which is incredible. <laughs> nice works. And uh, yeah, made quite a bang. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs>